What are we going to talk to Dan about, by the way? we got to figure out how to do his intro. Buddy Honestly. Danny likes beer. <laughs> <laughs> lived in Japan for a while, and he's been drinking beer for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is good stuff. Let's this for me. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Akihabara, where we deliver a series of deliberate pelvic thrusts in the general direction of the Japanese beer industry. I'm Eric. I'm Casey. I'm Daniel. Hmm. And today we have a special guest, these shorts. Because it's summer. <laughs> <laughs> and the lower part of my legs. Yes. But more importantly, we also have Daniel. Yeah, I was about to drink. <laughs> <laughs> he is an avid drinker of beer. So <laughs> an avid drink drinker of beer often. <laughs> so we figured we'd have him on the show today. Um, and he picked up this beer for us today. It's a Yokohama beer from Yokohama Brewery, the Dusseldorf style alt. That was really well done. So Yokohama Brewery actually has um, about six beers. Dan, why did you end up picking this one? It's one I've, I've either never had or I've only had once or twice and forgotten. I also don't know very much about um, alt beer. Thankfully, as far as alts are concerned, someone has actually looked this up. So you might look at the name alt and think like alternative, yeah, yeah. right? And that's exactly what it is. Um, it's a German style of beer originated in the Dusseldorf area. Mm. And it's referred to as an alt because German beers are primarily like lagers, yeah. right? so they're, they're bottom fermented yeast, uh, alts are top fermented, so they're actually quite similar to like an English pale ale. Yeah. So okay. think of this as like the German version of the pale ale. Interesting. They're generally like this kind of color, like this coppery brown color. Even looking at the Wikipedia page, the English one where they describe what an alt is, they actually have a list of like, here are other breweries not in Germany that make alts, and it's like a, mm. like it's a finite list, right? Wow. Like it, it terminates pretty quickly. <laughs> where, do we know where the brewery is in Yokohama? I know where the bar is. <laughs> uh, the Yokohama Brewery website starts off by mentioning the history of beer as it relates to Yokohama. And so the first beer that was actually brewed in Yokohama was in Meiji year three. Oh, wow. So 140, uh, 50 years ago. And it was started in co with cooperation of some American, someone or other, uh, called Spring Valley Brewery. Oh, wow. So they mentioned that first. Mm. Then they go on to say that the, the head brewer at Yokohama Brewery wants to introduce the Japanese populace to more styles of beer than just the standard lager, which it dominates the beer landscape here. I like that guy. Can yeah, we find him? I like, like shake his <laughs> hand. I like that guy, too. So one thing that's interesting about Yokohama Brewery's beer lineup, like I said, they have about six beers, and they're all styles from different countries, right? So they have, like, British-style beers, American-style IPAs, a German-style beer, mm -hmm. and a Czech-style Pilsner. Oh, wow. Um, oh, okay. So that's intentional. To that's really cool. Like, collect from different parts of the world. Um, they began life in around 2009, if I did my year conversion right, because it was like Heisei, or uh, maybe I did that wrong, I might have to double check that actually. I thought every year We're for about three Nana, years right? was Heisei 24. <laughs> <laughs> November of 2009, which was really hard information to find, it's buried on the corporate information part uh, of the uh, page. Every other brewery webpage, it's like... Such and such brewery began life under the sakura in the spring of 1997. But yeah. no, this one you gotta go past the CEO's photograph. It is crazy how <laughs> late so many of these breweries have opened. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, do you advertise when you started when it was like three years ago? Right, I guess yeah. not, yeah. It's Fresh not exactly. since 2013. We're still that's... trying to figure out what beer is. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the reason that if you go to like the like the about page of the website where yeah. they normally would be like, it began life, blah, blah, blah. It's just, it starts off by talking like, 150 years yeah. ago, some American guy showed up in Yokohama and started a brewery. We so. have nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's give it a try. Let's do it. The Yokohama Brewery Alt. Come by. Come by. It's very malty. I get a little bit of like a, almost like a brown sugar. Yeah, taste. it's, it's mm. caramel. Okay, yeah, I yeah, think. Caramel. Which I wouldn't have pinpointed on my own, but it says caramel it's malt. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, man, you've stepped up your game. I'm also <laughs> tasting <laughs> some uh, Altstadt yeast. <laughs> I use a golden spoon every morning to sample flavors. Uh, I like it. It's a bit more sour, I would say, oh, than, yeah, than, than some uh, similar, similar beers I've had. I wonder what the difference precisely is compared to like a pale ale and the alt because I mean they taste somewhat similar or maybe like an amber ale pale ale is definitely sharper than this mm -hmm. um, for sure a little more hoppy maybe oh yeah maybe I don't maybe. know I would yeah, have to drink it side by side has more hop but that's yeah. why this definitely the malt stands out a lot more than yeah, the hops yeah. does yeah. I think that but that gives it that nice like caramelly yeah, and yeah. sugary taste to it it's got a real rich flavor rather than that sharp bite of the hops yeah mm. we want to rate this beer 
Yeah, I think we've done enough talking. This is one of the best flavor description sessions we've had so far. Thank you for printing mm. it on the bottle. It really <laughs> helps us out. More breweries need to write flavors on their bottles and be like, if you're a snob and you're going to describe this in a YouTube video, just read the bottom just read here. the label. Or maybe like in print it in ink that it only shows up if you tilt it a certain way. So yeah, it's a like, snob angle. <laughs> <laughs> and it shows uh, up. Carmely. Mm. Mm. The guest gets to come up with the scale, so Dan... Do you have a 1 to 10 rating for us? Wow us. A scale. Wow you. A 10 okay. is a nice ride on the Shinkansen. It, you get a first class ticket. Oh, You're wow. sitting there, you've got a lot of leg room. You've got uh, an attractive girl next to you to talk to on the way. Nice. And they give you a complimentary beer. Ooh. You don't even want to get off when the train rides over. One oh, shit. <laughs> is a morning commute on the Tokaido line. You're pressed against a sweaty guy. He's got a mole with black hair sticking out the back, <laughs> back of his neck as you're pressed into him. And you can smell that he definitely didn't shower. It's my every morning. I would give this a uh, low eight. It's very flavorful. It's a very well-made beer. Uh, very refreshing on this warm summer day. I don't know if I could drink a lot of them, but right now it has hit the spot. Between six and seven, but I'm going to decide to go with seven. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's good to compare it to a train ride. You, it's not a bullet train, but you know what? You didn't have to stand very long. Eventually, someone got up and you got to sit down and read your book on the train while you went. Like like Casey said, very flavorful. Mm. Um, yeah, and oddly refreshing for a darker beer yeah, at a yeah, hotter yeah. time of year. I feel the same way. I'm surprised by how much I like. You said maybe you can drink too many of them. I could definitely go for another one of these. Another would be fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I could definitely do a couple of them. Yeah, I could definitely go for another one too. Mm -hmm. Wait, fuck that. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give this a high seven. I'm gonna, like a seven point eight five. I don't know. Whatever. I like how descriptive we're getting on. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, you know, as you get close to the top, you yeah, kinda, it's yeah, harder to yeah, go from a 7 yeah. to an 8 than it is to go from a 0 to a 3, right? Yeah. This um, replaces the earlier Fukushima beer as the my probably the, my favorite of the ones we've had so far. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, I like this sort of malty taste. Um, it works really well at the temperature that we're drinking it at. It's hot outside, but this is refreshing despite the color. Hmm. Um, yeah, big fan of this one, actually. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any beers you'd like us to check out, put it in the comments below. We have a Twitter and a Facebook and many other glorious ways of getting hold of us, which you can find in the doobly-doo. Our Twitter is basically just a lot of pictures of beer that we're drinking or drank and restaurants around Tokyo, so if that interests you, it's worth checking out. It's actually pretty artistic. If you want to catch our last episode, you can find it on Dan's boobs. Be kind to your mother. Mother's Day's coming soon. Or past by the or time past. it actually goes out. <laughs> <laughs> and tell your friends. Tell your friends. So Which anyway, until out. next time. Yeah. It's like the groundhog. Dan's arms are out. <laughs> Six more weeks of sexy. <laughs>